What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to go over how I list and photograph 140 items per day. So I photograph 140 items and I list 140 items. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video because I go over how I do this in detail. So we'll see you guys in the video. What's up guys, I just want to give you a tour of my eBay facility. It has been updated a little bit. So I use a giant uh, light box and I actually unzip the right side of it because I take measurements and the ruler actually sticks out on the right side when I'm doing measurements for pants. So that's why I unzipped that. And so items get photographed here. They get bagged in 10 by 13 poly mailers and they get put in these clear containers to get put away. So I just got here today. I haven't put these items back, but that's the first thing I do at the beginning of the day is put the items back from the previous day. I do have two listing stations and I'm gonna make two photo stations. And the goal is, to list 140 items per day per station. So I only work Monday through Friday, I take the weekends off. So the production schedule would be Monday through Friday, 140, go up. It does take eight hours. So it takes the whole day to get that many up. Weekends I'm taking off. If there's any issues, I have people write down what's going on for me to fix, but hopefully nothing changes. So there's never any problems. My storage unit does have power, but before I had um, a storage unit with power, I used a Yeti power bank. So that's how I get power in my unit. How I get internet is this Wi-Fi SIM card router. I have it linked in the description below if you wanna check it out, it's pretty cool. I basically plug in a SIM card from a cell phone in here and I'm using mobile hotspot to run my business. So that's pretty cool. I use a Dymo 4 Excel to print the SKU labels that go on my items. And these items, this SKU label allows me to find the item in my inventory system, which is these um, boxes that I got from Uline. And I actually don't use a desk. This is a Husky shelf from Home Depot. And I just took out the middle two rungs and that's where I work. I have a rubber anti-fatigue mat that I got from Home Depot. So this has been really, really nice because if I, um, you know, just helps me be less tired but i do have a a stool if i do need to sit but i mainly just use that to prop the door open um i don't really i i, I tend to stand because i work faster got a garbage can here and let's get into the other stuff so i use a macbook pro and this scale i really like because it opens up like this and i can just set my items against it and read the number when i'm typing it in to print the labels so Dymo 4XL also is a backup printer for shipping labels if my Rolo goes down, but I have a backup Rolo right behind it just in case. So tape gun here for when I rarely do boxes. Got the lucky Chinese guy, the lucky money god here looking over me. And um, eventually I'm going to get all these cords out of the way, um, but it's really it doesn't really distract me too much, but I really don't have anything in this area that can distract me from getting work done because I like to get here, do my work as soon as possible and then leave. So uh, thank you cards here. And I don't always use them these days. This is the lightning uh, USB drive. So after I take my photos with my iPhone, I plug this in and transfer the photos to this hard drive. And then I plug that directly into my computer using that USB dongle right there. And um, I list my items directly on this station as soon as I take the photograph. So photograph, list them immediately. I use a headlamp to pick because it's just a lot easier to pick items when there's a really bright light in front of you. So I use that, that's been great. These fan fold labels, I purchase 12,000 at a time and about 4,000 of them go into the Rolo, which has been great because I don't have to spend a lot of time switching this out. So I have this printer, I have a backup printer and I can use the Dymo if I, if I need to for shipping labels, just because that's the worst possible thing that can happen is your label printing printer going down because it just holds up your whole process. Um, I currently only use one monitor. Uh, some people do use two monitors, but I don't really try to multitask. So I just do one thing at a time. Just wanna go over the listing process with you guys. Once my hard drive is plugged in and the photos are visible, essentially what I do is I go to this page where you list items and I select which template I'm using for whatever item that I'm selling. And then I just drag the photos from my hard drive directly onto the listing and I go through it. It takes me between one and two and a half minutes to do a listing using that method. Nothing fancy, no listing tool, no virtual assistant, just ebay.com, their normal listing tool. You can also just type it directly into this bar if you don't have templates and it takes another maybe 10 seconds. So it doesn't really save me that much time with the templates. It just helps me save some of the information that I normally use on every single listing. So pretty straightforward. Um, that's how I do it. And this is what I meant by the shipping. So I set up the, um, 
the scale right here and then I can see the number 83. So when I'm printing the label, it's really easy. If you guys need more help, join my mentorship with my colleague Tekken Sports. It's called The Resource Podcast. You can get there at patreon.com slash The Resource Podcast. Once you join the Facebook group, which over a thousand people have at this point, what you want to do is go in here and share your exact process, your photo station, your shipping station, whatever it is that you sell, post it, post how you're doing it and what you need help with. And people will quickly answer and help you reach the goals that you want with your life. So appreciate you guys. See you next video.